story time number 30. It is in honor of all the moms out there. Is your mama a llama? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think your mama's more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Fred said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think your mama must be a Swan. And as we read the picture, the book, you can see there's other mamas with their babies, that, uh, like this turtle and the eggs, but then the eggs hatched and there's the baby turtles and there's baby bunnies with their mama. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not. Jean politely explained. She grazes on grass and likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think your mama must be a cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, X is how Rhonda responded. She's got hind legs and a pocket for me. I don't think a llama is what she could be. Look, here's Panda and her mom, her baby. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think your mama Mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur. And you, of all people, should know about her. Our llamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my, said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end.